Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to uh, the Backtrack Backlog after two weeks of not doing this, because I was mostly honestly preparing for the special on Sunday. Um, which turned out to go very well, uh, so the preparation was worth it, I feel. Hey, Zaki. <laughs> welcome. Um, yeah, it's about darn time I got back to this. Um, so shout out to Zaki, because, like, basically before I cut stream on the second game, when I was like... Well, I gotta, I gotta figure out when I'm gonna get the third game before I actually think about playing it. Yeah, before I even cut stream, uh, Zaki had gifted me the third game. So here we are! Um... That is why we are here playing this now, rather than going to other Metroidvanias. But we've got other Metroidvanias also, so... Uh, we will get to others eventually. But we've got one more of these games to go. Unfortunately... I'm not sure it's actually going to deliver on what I hoped it would deliver on, which was uh, our good friend Leibniz uh, going to take all the credit and hog all the glory saving Earth, because uh, we seem to be preoccupied with other things. Uh, I'm not sure if Game Start is going to show me the same intro that the game normally shows me. Also, yes, this game does have the same glitch that the second one had, where I have to, if I alt-tab out, I have to re- set the display capture, otherwise it just captures a still image. Uh, so I took that into account. Um, but yeah, let me see what happens if I start it. If we have to reset just to see the intro, then I'll reset to see the intro. But, uh, but yeah, we, we've been through two of these games already, and so far they've, they've, the second one added interesting things to the mix that the, uh, on top of the first one. I feel like the first one, maybe I'm biased because the first one also had the nostalgia going for it, in terms of, like, the, um, the, the stuff from the first game on NES, um, but I feel like there were certain things in the second game that just, like, seemed odd, but it definitely added more stuff to the mix, and I appreciated, like, the side characters and more boss fights and stuff like that. As far as you know, it doesn't show the intro when we start the game. Alright, in that case, uh, if I just leave it here for a while, it should actually cycle, I think, so we'll just, we'll just do that and see what happens. Um, but yeah, the, the intro video for this also serves as a recap of, in case you forgot what happened in the first two games, we're gonna talk about what happens in the first two games. So, also, in case you haven't watched those yet, spoiler alert. It's not, it's not too spoilery, but it's, I suppose it does spoil the plot a bit. I am not convinced this is actually going to cycle, but I'm pretty sure that's what the other title screens did. Also, I feel like... Did they change the colors on the logo on the title screen? Because I like the colors on this one. I'll give this a few more seconds, otherwise I'll just reset the game. I think I'm gonna reset the game, it's probably the faster way to do it. I might just not be waiting long enough, but let's let's reset the game and do it that way. Hopefully this doesn't mess with the game, the screen capture. There we go. So first of all, shout outs to the music calling back to the original NES intro music. Jason Ferdinick, a young luminary in the field of something, mutant forces beneath the Earth's surface aboard the all-terrain battle tank Sophia the Third, and save the planet from certain destruction. Alongside support droid Eve and the mysterious life form Fred. I'm sure he appreciates being called the mysterious life form. However, when the dust had settled, mutant cells had begun to corrupt Eve. In order to save her, Jason developed the new Gaia Sophia for space travel. So, somehow it didn't... I had forgotten or it didn't sink into me that Jason developed the Gaia Sophia. He believed there was a way to save Eve on her, on her home planet, also called Sophia. During their perilous journey, they visited many strange planets. And met fellow pilots of the Metal Attacker battle tanks. Also, I'm going to point out something I didn't point out last time, but the plant chick has melons, literally. After tense encounters and ultimately working together, their bonds deepened. 
With help from the pilots, they defeated the mutant master. This is the uh, a zoom in of the the big image that was at the end of the second game. Uh, the master of super dimensional space, Droll Revo, and Eve's corruption was halted. Just like magic, it was halted, and she was fine. At the end of their journey, they parted ways with the other pilots. And Jason rebuilt his damaged tank into the new G Sophia SV. With the uh, optional seat warmers. Uh, before long, they arrived at their final destination, the planet Sophia. I mean, that's what happens. You add more letters to the name, that means you add more optional, like, m more standard but optional features, right? However, a new crisis was already there lying in wait for them. Well, I guess I'm glad Eve got better by herself, because we would have been in, a, in bad shape here. Did her outfit evolve again? They were attacked by Sophia's army, the Sophia Force, and G. Sophia SV was rendered inoperable. Of course, naturally there has to be an explanation for why we have to get our abilities all over again. Again. Jason, Eve, and Fred were captured and separated from each other. Poor Fred. I mean, Jason can deal. Why did they do this to us? Before Jason could find any answers, the base where he was held... suddenly fell into chaos, allowing him to escape and recover GSF via SV. But not its optional seat warmers, unfortunately. It's tragic. The fate of Jason and Eve, and the fate of Planet Sophia. Also, does Jason have more highlights again? I feel like this happens in every game. All revolve around the threat of the mutant scourge. So, surprise, it's still the mutants, we're not done. But now an interdimensional reversal of fate is beginning. And there you go. That is the intro. Okay, let's see what we've got. So one thing I will note... Oh. Okay. One thing I will note is... I seemingly had to go into the options in this game and switch it to the US style A confirms B cancels on the Xbox layout. It actually defaulted to the opposite of that, which I'm pretty sure the other games didn't do. All of them have had the option of either or. But, uh... That was weird that I, I don't remember having to do that in the other games, unless, unless I just forgot about it conveniently. So that was surprising. Anyway, this music seems good so far. Phew, I finally got out of there. See, he already has fewer highlights. He had, he had blue and orange highlights in the opening cutscene, and he already dropped the orange highlights. This whole place is on high alert, and I don't think it's because of me. No way I could, there's no way I could have gotten G. Sophia and my stuff back without a big distraction like that. What in the world is going on here? And where are my seat warmers? The entire base is in complete disarray. Wait. Oh, this is supposed to be some other voice. The entire base is in complete disarray. No one has the time to worry about an escapee in the M.A. hangers. Evacuating the base needs to be top priority. Damn it. Eve. Fred. Where in the world are you? Maybe that is his voice. I don't know. It kind of seemed like it was supposed to be someone else talking to him because he seemed surprised. We'll figure it out, eventually. Alright, so we've already got our powered up shot. Wait, what the heck? Do I feel floatier than usual? Alright, what kind of- okay, they, they switched the subscreen again, and there is no longer text in these menus, which I'm not sure I like. So we still have the Gaia system. We start with recoil jump? That seems like a pretty major thing. So we're Super Mario 64, we just come with wall jump standard. And we have dive, which I think we started with in the second game as well. Also, I need to start the frickin' timer, don't I? Holy shit. Uh, I'll think about fixing the timer... later. Uh, is that actually X? That is actually X. Because that looks like a PlayStation cross button, but it's not. It's actually X. Uh, main cannon can destroy certain blocks, does not consume SP, but has reduced power against enemies. That's our three missiles, which I'm assuming we can still aim, which I always forget about. Yep, that's still the shots from landing thing, that's still the against the wall. And this is, yeah, the free movement in underwater and outer, outer space. And we have the shortcut buttons carried over from the second game. We also, did we always have tabs at the top like that? I feel like that's new. Uh, we've got different types of shots. What would be cool... 
Oh, what the heck? That seems new. Um, I was about to say what would be cool is if I could use up and down to go between the menu items, like, while this is open. But, um, let's see, fires a shot straight ahead. Fires a spread blast. So each of these has higher levels now, so they changed it entirely from the first two games where higher levels give you more gun options. Seemingly. We do still have the whip. Bakon striker? striker? That sounds new. That sounds maybe new. And cross wave, this is presumably our wave. Range up, rate of fire up, residual time up, whatever that means. Stopping power up? Shot eraser, that sounds good. So, it sounds like... It, I get the impression this means that they ba they finally decided to address the problem where losing gun level means losing any kind of viability whatsoever because you lack any particularly good option against a particular threat. So, it's interesting that they decided to go this way, and now you get gun levels for everything independently. Uh, we've got presumably our grenades still. And we already have Reflex Striker. A long range... Okay, so I'm assuming this is the... Yeah, this is the shot one. And then there's a fourth column, and I don't know what that's for yet. And then there's the keys on the right, I guess. Um, also, Receiver is back. Alright, we've got our map. Receiver is only in this screen, interestingly enough. Wasn't, re wasn't Receiver... No, Receiver was there in... No, in the second game, you could talk to Eve. But wasn't Receiver the thing in the first game that alerted you when things were nearby? And that was the thing that you needed to find that one stupid door? I think that's what Receiver was. Okay, we can't hit that. Mutants? What are they doing here? On Sophia, the mutants are known as the Invim Dark Star Army. They've been driven away once before, but now they're back and on the move. Looks like most of G-Sophia's equipment is gone. Figures. How am I supposed to fight the mutants like this? I don't even have seat warmers! Earth MA-001 SV Gaia Sophia SV. An interplanetary all-terrain battle tank built on Earth. Is this actually just a separate narrator now? Most of its equipment was removed so the SF could analyze it. At present, the main cannon crusher shot and sub-weapon warhead missiles should still be operable. That thing's armor looks pretty thick. The crusher shot alone won't do much. Some warhead missiles should pierce right through it, though. Using sub-weapons will consume SP. SP reserves are crucial to their use. G. Sophia SV's Gaia system converts shocks and impacts into SP. That's right. That means I can fall from tall heights to recover SP. Okay, so either he's having a conversation with himself, or something is talking to him. Or he's just remembering things at the same time the narr- I'm still overanalyzing whether it's narration or what. Because we used to have him just thinking to himself, and now it's it's phrased a little bit differently than that. If my SP runs out, G-Sophia will shut down and I'll be in trouble. On the other hand, I won't accomplish all that much if I'm stingy with SP. I just gotta recover some SP every chance I get. That is the wrong button. Oh, I was able to shoot with the main shot. Uh... I assume there is a point to this ladder being here. Yo, what what is he carrying? Like he's got and I can't see anything from this angle, but he's got like something huge on his left shoulder or something. Okay, he still has limited range on that. I assume there's no reason for me to do this. There will presumably be a reason for me to do this at some point. But it is not now. We can still uh, jump up ladders fast like that. That's been in all three games. I could crawl under there. Still got these crawly dudes. Now. Wait, what was... What was that little animation of stuff drawing into him? 
Also, I've got two meters. Hang on a sec. Let me look at this again. Not that, this. Okay, that's your shot. Okay, but that's... I'm assuming the blue is your... Uh, your meter that recharges... Well, discharges when I use missiles, yeah, and, and recharges when I do that, right? But I don't really know what the orange meter's about yet. There- oh, right, I can cling to walls already. Looks like I'll need to leave G. Sophia behind and go on foot from here. Facilities crucial to base constant surveillance are inside here. If someone were to crash the system, they could buy enough time to escape. Okay, now it's not- this can't be a narrator. <laughs> but it also can't be Jason. The map on the subscreen will also indicate the presence of items. That's- that's just a system message, though. Whatever I do, this is the only way forward. Looks like I'm going in. Oh, you actually have to hold the button like you mean it now? That seems new. The mutants already made this far inside the base? If I hadn't grabbed my pilot gear when I escaped, I'd be toast. Pilot gear includes the G-Rifle and back-mounted R-Blaster Rifle. Oh, that's what that is. The G-Rifle has five weapon types that can handle a variety of enemies. Higher gun levels will increase the shot's firepower and rate of fire. The R-Blaster Rifle fires powerful sub-weapons with special properties. That's our grenades and stuff. The blast launcher fires bombs that can destroy cracked walls. Item pickups are needed to recharge supplements. I feel like they're going very far out of their way to explain everything, as if that was a problem in the first two games, which maybe it was for some people. I don't know. They clearly seem to be trying to make this more accessible. Item pickups are needed to recharge subweapons. My suit, weapons, even my broken helmet. He fixed all of it for me. Now they're the only things keeping me safe from the mutants. Please be safe, Eve. Okay, so one thing I am curious about... Okay, so that... Alright, so I guess your L and R1 cycle through each type of weapon. Uh, wait, no. R1 strafes. That was a thing. Right. Wow, my rate of fire is horrendously low. Okay, that seems to kill things faster. Let's do that. Uh, alright. Gun level seems to carry across weapons. That was something I was wondering. Was there another... Uh, I don't know. That looks like it could be something, or it could be nothing. I guess it's nothing. Oh, our grenades are green now. <clears throat> I mean, Mountain Dew could probably corrode something. I don't know. What? Are these all switches? Interesting. They seem to have to do with... Okay. So they're introducing... Weapon switches. I don't know if there's actually... A reason to... Uh... Oh, that's fun. You saw the other ones turn red. Okay, is there... Does it matter which one I go down? Yes, it apparently does. Let's not go there. I didn't even need that. Uh... Oh, we got more... Wait, what? Oh, I was getting the counter... prompt. Alright, we actually have to go down this one. Question is, can we disable that conveyor somehow? Not the end of the world if I can't. Okay, he died quick. Everything is dying very fast. Um, that's right, if you hold this, it'll let you select everything. Why is that an X? I don't know. That seems weird. Feel like that should be doing something. You stay out of this. Okay. 
Okay, that time it... Why did it work from there, but not before? Oh, did it not actually chain all of them before? Okay, don't use that, apparently. I mean, okay, if I can just cheese the hell out of it that way, I guess that works. That seems kind of cheap. Uh, which way are these guys gonna move? That works. What else is up here? There's health. You don't know if the, you don't know if the game tells me about the X up there or not. Unless it only- does it only light up when it actually prompts me to counter? I didn't notice that before. But I- I have seen the, uh, the button prompt. Okay, that is exactly what it is, then. Because I thought I had seen it green at some point. Uh, okay, apparently I hit that guy, too. Ow! Rude. We got brains. Ow. What the heck is that? I'm supposed to be countering this, aren't I? What's the counter button? Because <laughs> I was not pressing it. Oh, good god, I have to do the whole damn thing over, don't I? That sucks. Is there really no checkpoint in there? Come to think of it, they were pretty generous about checkpoints in the other games. This one we have to go down? Or was it the one? Wait, that's... Oh. Colors! Yeah, alright. Yeah, it's this one. That's the Y button. That's what I tried hitting before. It didn't do anything. Ow. Alright, so... I want to pay more attention to this this time. Oh, okay, I probably only lit up two of them. Okay, I'm still only lighting up two of them. Wait, what? How exactly does this weapon work? Or do I only need to hit those two? That makes even less sense. Or did I already hit the other two and that already counted? Yeah, I saw the ring, but as far as I could tell, it only ever captured two of those, and I was assuming I needed to target all four at once or something. Also, is there meaning to, uh, that being cracked? No, I guess not. That was the counter. I like how it gives you the counter prompt even when you're nowhere near the bullet and it wouldn't actually hit you. They really want to make sure you had enough for the, uh, the wall there. works a lot better. I 
Apparently, you have to do it, like, right when they attack, too. Not actually when the bullet gets close to you, which to me would make more sense. Ugh. There you go. Yeah, all you have to do is counter it once. That's what they were trying to get you to do. All that and no checkpoint, though. Alright. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, so now what do I do about this, though? Clearly there's supposed to be a way to dis- oh, wait. What the heck is that? Oh, I can frickin' dash. I'm a moron. Okay. Could I dash in the other games? Am I forgetting about that? Or is that actually new? I feel like that's new. Why didn't they t Did they tell me about that before? With that other room with the conveyor and I just didn't notice? Oh, that's water. Okay. In that case... Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, I can frickin' jetpack and float now? Yo, alright, that's new. Wait! Does jetpacking use- jetpacking doesn't even use resources, so I should never fall to my death again. Holy crap. Did they actually add quality of life? Oh, let me go... yeah, I don't think I even looked at that. Well, let's see. Uh, right, you can aim, you can jump out of Sophia. You can use your sub-weapons and select them with the left pod bar. Uh... Right, okay, there's the... That's supposed to show you, uh, falling with style. Okay. Uh, you can climb ladders, you can get... Okay, that recharges both of the meters. I still don't know what the other meter does yet. That's your strafe, which, that's a really weird picture for strafing, too, but alright. I kinda get what they're going for there. It takes a while for me to realize what they're going for, though. Uh, you got the counter, you got the, uh, special weapons. There's your dash. Um, there's your using, uh, Fred to get back to the vehicle, which I will always forget to do. Uh... Wait. You can summon the vehicle to you, too? Was that new, or was that in the other one? I don't remember if that was in the second game. Oh, and there's fast travel. Well, that's a big deal. Yeah. It's like, we're gonna do this with pictures so we don't have to write words and, you know, freaking pay localization staff and shit. Alright. Uh... Wait. I'm trying to get off... Oh, that's a wall. Alright, I thought that was background. It's not. It's a wall. What on earth is that? I don't like the looks of it. What in the world? It's like there's a crack in space itself. It's, uh... It's Metroid Prime 2, or it's, um... Twilight Princess, I don't know. Wish I had time to check this out, but I gotta get back to G Sophia. Checkpoints are capable of saving progress and summoning an MA, so they force you to use it right here. I feel like this is new. I'm pretty sure you couldn't teleport either way in the first game. And I feel like in the second game is when they added you could go to Sophia. I don't know that you could bring Sophia to you in the second game. I feel like that's new here. Alright. So... Yep, alright. 
They're giving you more ways to potentially res rescue yourself from getting in a crappy situation. So, uh... Alright. Oh, wow, it turns me colors, too. This is... This is like, uh, the frickin' color rando in Link to the Past. Alright, but where am I actually going now? Oh, wait, can I actually get up there? I can't actually get up there, I just need to not actually hug the wall. What are you? Oh, uh, you're one of those dudes, alright. Whoa, hello. Okay, he's dead somewhere. Uh, there's a new thing there. Oh! Apparently, one thing they don't tell you is that gliding is apparently a toggle, not a hold. So, I stand corrected. I will still fall to my death because they didn't convey, convey the controls. Oh, god damn it. I hate this jump. Okay, there we go. Oh, hi? Bonk? What? Oh, oh, this guy. Yeah, I just tapped. I'm not holding the button anymore. I'm gonna not make it. Oh, I did make it. I can't get... Wait. I can't get up there anyway. Darn it. Uh, also, now I'm probably gonna die. Actually, wait, no. I can totally take these guys because they can't shoot down. Oh, hey, look, there's a squish there. Feels like I'm not supposed to get over there yet. I can only get here. I can't get there. And I can't gain height with this, at least not yet. Oh, those are- now that I think about it, those things are kind of like the, uh, the bugs you find on the first plant in the second game, where they- they're 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 in like defensive mode, and then when you shoot them with with missiles, they they get like why I ought to get off my lawn, and that's kind of how I envision them. And once they get all riled up, then you can actually just shoot them. They are very much hammering in the the wall jumping early in this one. an attempt. There we go. Oh, sure, don't drop health or anything. Um, well, I can go two ways. Wait, I have a map? Hang on. Uh, alright, there's another... Actually, what is that? Hang on. Icon list! Alright, so they... In the second game, didn't they make this list, like, part of the background or something, and that was, like, the weirdest decision ever? So they made it a button again. Oh, and we can expand... Alright, so there's still the set of things in the area. I don't know if that open if that was something you could open from the map in the second game, but that was something you would see in like the the overworld screen before going into areas. Alright. Uh yeah, so that wait, I think that's the top No. What the an SF dungeon? So we just go spelunking in San Francisco? Alright. That's apparently a new thing, I guess? Well, let's go see what the new thing is. Wait, what? Before we go to see what the new thing is, what's the thing on the right, though? An item. All three of them are items, but they're different kinds of items. Um... Why doesn't the... Oh, wait. The other one I passed is the one down there, the green one, I think. Okay, so it's still there. Is that- wow, there's like a point of no return marker or something? At least I'm assuming that's what the arrow with a cross through it is? Also... Alright, so SF Dungeons... 
Oh, they got staircases and stuff. They're fancy. This thing's practically becoming The Legend of Zelda. Um... Oh, and ruptures are marked. I'm, I'm assuming ruptures are kind of the remnants of the horrible design decision, which was tears in space in the second game. Alright, let's go over here and see if we can get whatever item this is first. I, I really don't like wall clinging. Wall clinging seems way too wall clinging in this one. I don't feel like I had this problem in the second game. Oh, it's indicating... Okay, it's indicating a blockade, then, or a blocker. Okay, I probably can't get to that, either. That, that feels like some Ninja Gaiden stuff down there. Oh, these are hives or something, okay. Uh... It seems unlikely that I'm getting in there. But I will take a look around. Did I just take damage from falling boxes? I didn't even think I was, like, in line with them. Wait, no? There was something in the falling... What? I did not see what hit me. I absolutely 100% did not see what hit me. Also, I can, kill I can destroy that box and make that jump a lot less annoying. Okay, that's the things that hit me from the... Oh, it's still on my frickin'... Okay. Yes, I just noticed that time that it was still clinging to me. It wasn't done yet. Wow, they made caterpillars worse. Thanks, I hate it. Wow, they actually gave me health for once. Alright. Alright, well then, that's a silly place. We're gonna go to the SF dungeon and find out why, uh... Ow, that, that hurt a lot. The hell is that? It's- I can't believe it's not an MA. Drop health, please. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for you, because you're apparently gonna come up here... Like a moth to a flame. Alright. Alright. Oh, are they gonna say something about this now? Hmm, looks like another SF facility. So this is the Sophia Force, right? It's, n it's not Star Fox, it's not Street Fighter, it's definitely not San Francisco. Robot soldiers used by the SF were created to battle the mutants. There's an endless amount of them, and they will attack any outsiders. Going against them unprepared is a mistake one shouldn't- one wouldn't soon forget. I wouldn't stand a chance against them with gear like this. I'm straight off my escape route, too. I don't have time for detours. I need to get out of here ASAP. Wait, really? So I'm not supposed to go in there. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh boy. That hit me? I disagree. Oh jeez, they can just bonk into me. Yeah, okay, they're pretty strong, seemingly. Can I bop through their shields? Oh, I can. But they seem basically invincible. So yeah, you're not supposed to be here. Oh wow, I actually killed one. And there's another one. <laughs> Alright, fine. <laughs> they really, really do not want you to be in there. Well, that, that serves as a checkpoint, and that gets us closer to where we want to go. Well, I don't really want to go there because there's exploding caterpillars, but... ...where we probably have to go, anyway. Oh, darn it. 
That's true, that's not how I took that, but yeah, I guess that's what they meant. I was thinking it was just trying to justify why there's, like, you know, why there's monsters again when you go in there again or something. I don't know. Okay, uh, I need to remember to use my missiles with reckless abandon. Ah! Missiles can also destroy those other crates, that's probably important, yeah. That guy, get rid of this guy. Wait, these guys even have weaknesses? That might be new? Uh, hmm. Well, I don't think this is happening. So these ruptures just appear whenever they damn well please, seemingly. Oh, come on. I can't get them off. Oh, if I crash, it gets them off me. Interesting. All right. Is there a thing over there? There's a thing over there that I can't get to. The game is teasing me in, like, five different directions right now. G good grief. I'm, I am an idiot. <laughs> I jumped right into that. Oh my god, I couldn't even hit that guy. Uh, I can't aim down, can I? No. Can I just, like... No. Landing on that doesn't do anything. Can I do... There we go, that works. That does not do anything. Uh, get over here, please. It'd be nice if checkpoints could refill my meters, since, you know, otherwise I'm just gonna end up doing this anyway. What the- Okay, I swear there have been times, and I think this is part of what killed me. There have been times where I jump straight up and I move forward and I'm not pressing forward. Yeah, like, you'll still edge forward even if it seems like you've stopped or something. There's something funky about that. Uh, can I get up there? Yeah, I can get up there. Imagine using missiles mostly against inanimate objects. I really actually don't like the wall clinging. It just ends up happening when I don't want it to. It's gonna be like Specter of Torment when I, where I just have to get used to it. And learn to not do it when I don't actually want to do it. Alright, guess we're going in here. I am also gonna have to learn to hold up. Okay, that needs a switch, probably. Yeah, it's a wave switch. Oh, shit. Uh, well, the good news is I got him. The bad news is I got gut. And I can't pick up his drop. That's kind of crappy. I like how it's hitting the switches. Like, oops. Alright, that works. Has the audio volume balance been okay? I tried to adjust it beforehand. It looks like it should be okay. Wait, where was the switch? I heard some switches get tripped before. Those are not... Those are these switches. Okay. Oh, okay, I can do it from up here. Wait, there's nine? There's more than nine? these things have a timeout or what. Uh, did I get hit by that? I 
guess these don't have a timeout. Okay, and they stop moving once they, uh... Once you've gotten them all. Uh, so there's three of those. There's... What? It's hitting a fourth one. Apparently my range has very much improved by having a higher gun level. Also, I just messed up this one by doing that. Oh, wait, I can just go up here. Derp. Let's try going up here. Not actually what I wanted. Wait, you're not weak to that? I thought you were weak to that. Is this... this is not the same place I was in before. Or is it? I don't know. Pretty sure this is a completely separate room. Anything... that's not where I came in, is it? No, it's not. What is that noise? What the fuck? Oh god, it's bees. I didn't realize they would do- Oh, because they must have- Did they eat the other dude and then spit bees? Is that what- Is that how that works? I kind of forgot. Oh man, that is getting pretty powerful now. They are getting real sneaky with the level design in the top-down areas now. And they're not really pulling any punches here. Like, this is the first freaking level, and they're already getting this sneaky. Alright, so hang on. Okay, so there's three more of these here. That lets us get back. And then... Oh, there's three over there in addition to the three over here. Oh, I need to do this all at once, don't I? How big is my range? Not that big. Isn't this the door for that one? No, wait. That's the purple door. Is the blue door still closed or not? Am I just, like, completely off my rocker here? Where was the blue door? <laughs> Are these rooms actually linked? I'm starting to think these rooms were act Yeah, okay. Let's see. I mean, I already opened that, but that was just from those four. There is a purple door. So the rooms are at least somewhat linked. How the hell am I supposed to do that when this can't shoot through walls? I'm a fucking idiot. That. Why was I treating that as blue? I'm actually having, like, color blindness problems with this game, and I don't know why. It's because, like, the colors are slightly washed out. I was treating the purple switches as blue switches. Alright, so now we should be able to go. And my gun meter is already full. Oh, now they give me a checkpoint. Alright. Well, given the other thing that killed me that didn't give me a checkpoint, this should be some real serious business. Hello. Is that the mutant overlord? Oh wait, those are clones? Goaz is the arch-mutant who led the mutant army that attacked Sophia's. Wait, is, is it... I want... wait, hang on. So is it Goes or is it Goaz, or is it Go-Easy? 
Even as mere clones, they aren't to be underestimated. They ain't gonna go easy on you. The blast counter at my disposal will take them all on at once. Blast counter. It should be activated the moment an enemy attacks. Right. That's what I was realizing before. was like, it's not about when the enemy's attack reaches you. It's about when the enemy attacks. The user will avoid the attack and launch a counter shot. The user might avoid the attack. I feel like that part is up for grabs. No way am I gonna let these second-rate copies slow me down. Go easier? Alright, see, I already got hit. I think I countered a little too soon there. I gotta work on my counter timing. Because I wasn't always seeing the signal. G Crusher shot. Consumes main SP, a main counter weapon that fires powerful shots. Alright, let's go, uh, hopefully resupply somewhat. Alright, that helps. It might not even matter how much map is there left. Yeah, no, we're, we're exiting. We're exiting soon anyway. <clears throat> oh, and there's also more stuff up here anyway. They clearly wanted me to use grenades, which I totally didn't use. Uh, I don't want you anywhere near me. Okay. I, I pressed Y, but I pressed it too soon, so it didn't even actually spawn the... Sophia. Okay, that was risky. Also... So hang on, what button does that? That is my main button, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's using- that's using up, uh, oh, and that's the orange meter, okay. So wait a minute, didn't they call that SP though? I thought the blue gauge was SP. Are they both SP? Yeah, good, good shot. I wonder if the bigger shot can hit them or not. And that fills both meters. Alright, interesting. Okay, can I make this work? I highly doubt it, but I'm gonna try anyway. No, you can't make that work. It, it feels like they're gonna be bringing wall climbing back into this, which was not in the second game. I mean, meaning actual, like, running along the wall, not just this, not just wall sliding. There's nothing in there. We found Fred. Oh, geez, he's up there. He's not in good shape. Fred! I can't believe you made it this far. Hold on, buddy, I'm coming for you. Uh, I didn't push that button. Alright, so we're going this way, because it's not giving us the option. But thou must. Um... Yeah, about that. I seriously can't even go back. Wait, so does this thing actually spin down after a while? It does. Interesting. So I'll just stay here. And we'll be fine. Oh, that ladder doesn't go all the way up. Okay, of course it doesn't. It seems like they made clinging to ladders easier in this, because I was able to just hold up and cling to that ladder, which was not a thing in the second game. 
you had I'm pretty sure you had to press A over the ladder to cling to it in the first and second game. Uh, which was very annoying. Like, ladders, ladder clinging was very annoying for one specific section of, of the second game. Red, are you okay? Ribbit. Red is the support animal that acts as a probe for GCP. Selecting Fred's icon on the submenu will warp the pilot to GCP. Right, and that's what existed in the second game. Ribbit. Okay. I don't suppose you want to give me a checkpoint after all that. Wait, there was an item and I didn't pick it up? Hang on. Oh, it's, it's that. Okay, right. Which I still can't get to. Yeah, guess what? We're gonna have to fight a boss, right? What the hell? Oh, maybe not. Oh, guess who? I recognize that path. But wait, I thought he went to Earth. That's MAO7 Garuda. No way, Leibniz? Yeah, I didn't think he was here anymore. Like, what about what they showed us at the end of the second game? Alright, well they're giving us uh, refueling here. side of this bulkhead is the exterior of Planet Sophia, which means you're finally here. You got here faster than I expected. Alright, that's our not a narrator, then. That voice. So you're the guy who's been guiding me this whole time. I've been watching you closely to see your and your vehicle's power. Well, you led me all the way here. What do you want? Isn't it obvious? Listen, escapee Jason Frudnik. I am the commander of Planet Sophia. It is my duty to neutralize all possible threats to this planet. Commander? Then why... and... is that a Metal Attacker? Correct. This vehicle's name is Metal Attacker. Both the G-Sophia you have now, and the Sophia III you once piloted, are part of the MA series, and this here is the original. So... is this... Kane or whatever? Are you serious? Then you must be... Pleased to finally meet you, though I wish it were under better circumstances. My name is Kane. Kane Gardner. Well, there you go. The NES and Famicom plot lines collide. Kane Gardner, you're. Planet Sophia scattered the MA series across space to battle the mutants. This. Oh, I guess this is Jason Todd. This man is one of the engineers of the MA that I found on Earth, the so Sophia the Third. When Eve was in danger, he even sent Sophia Zero to help us. In a way, even I owe him our lives, so why is he... And please tell me where she is! Why did you do this to us? Well now, that's enough chatter. I have a duty to fulfill. On guard, Jason Frutnik. No, on guard is in uh, Donkey Kong Country. Wrong game. I didn't get to read all that text. That was a lot of text. Oh, and he's got all the features. But he can't jump on walls. Now. Yeah, you go back over there. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, we can climb on walls. Oh, that jerk. Am I supposed to lose? Pinnacle of Mutant Blasting Action Achievement. Gah. Huh. Even an old model can still hold its own in a fight. I can't give up here. Please just let me through. 
I'm normally not one to turn down a fight, but I'm running out of time. Okay, I've switched channels. No one should be listening in now. Huh? Alright, now listen carefully. I came to make sure you escape. What do you mean? Our battle enabled me to put some battle damage on my metal attacker. Now the records will show that you fought me and got away. No one would be suspicious about an old model losing to a new one. You must understand that I have my own standing to protect. I couldn't just let a prisoner take an MA and escape without a fight. What's your reason for letting me go like this? As I said, isn't it obvious? My goal is your goal, for the moment. He's held captive and it's up to us to help her. Tell me where she is! Well, he's no longer being held. Things changed before your escape. Right after she was captured alongside you, she... disappeared. What? Unlike you, there was no way she could have escaped. There's no way to describe it other than disappear. It's those damn rifts! At the same time, the Invum, the mutants, appeared all over Sophia. So the mutants really are behind this. The heads of the SF suspect that Eve is connected to the mutants' revival. What? They think she revived the mutants? There's no freaking way! Eve is a support droid created to assist her MA in fighting the mutants. She would never help her enemies do something like this, it's impossible! As a support droid, Eve is not related to me by blood. But as a genetic model, I am like a father to her. We would never think Eve, our daughter, would do such a thing. Oh, I said nor MA01. Alright, that makes sense. But looking at the circumstances, we have to consider all possibilities. Furthermore, we have confirmed the presence of dimensional ruptures. Dimensional ruptures? You mean that crack in space I saw earlier? We're still investigating, but there is no doubt the mutants are involved. The Mew's disappearance, the mutants return, and the dimensional ruptures? I to think that all three phenomena are totally unrelated. I mean... We did just kick the mutant's ass, and then we arrived here, so they could've just, like, you know, followed us? I don't know. Eve... Just so you know, your escape was related to the events with Eve, too. I was able to come into contact with you thanks to that, however. Your transmissions did come through at very convenient times. Convenient, you say? Must, you be, must be your imagination. You've got trouble. I've taken too long and now reinforcements are en route. Take this with you, you'll need it out there. Okay, we got hover back. Which also allows us to ascend. That... I don't know, is that enough to get some of those items that I didn't get? But I might not be able to come back for these items yet. Leave everything here to me, just make sure you escape. Oh, there you go. We didn't get this at the beginning! We get it now instead. Once you get outside the base, your receiver should pick up Eve's signal. Got it. However, on the outside, you'll be identified by the SF as an escapee, and they will treat you as a threat to Planet Sophia. They will likely, likely register your name attached with an official enemy code. Enemy code? That's the warning that shows up before a battle, right? You know the enemy code Miami's AI created for you when we fought? How could I possibly know something like that? Well, if you ignore the fact that it's an enemy code, it's quite fitting. Anyway, the next time we meet, I won't be able to go easy on you. Do what you can to stay out of the SF site and search for Eve. She may even pick up the signal from you or G Sophia and contact you. The SF and I don't have that ability. I believe in the bonds you two forged. Got it. I'll find her no matter what. Okay. From now on, we're enemies. Now get going, Blaster Master! That's supposed to be our code name then? Alright. This must be the ruins of a city destroyed in the last mutant attack. Probably use these ruins for mat raw materials and rebuilding, so I have a hunch that this place isn't completely abandoned. But still, there are lots of places to hide from the SF around here. Can't have that in mind when he guided me and G Sophia out of the base. There's no way he planned all that, right? Huh? This is Eve's location data? I'm seeing two signals, though. What's going on here? Both of these signals look like Eve's, but something's still slightly off. Eve! Eve, please respond! Ribbit, ribbit! Ribbit. No 
response. Guess I'll have to rely on the location signal for now. Probably check the signal's location on the map subscreen, too. Okay. Uh, he said there were two signals. I only see one thing on the map. Is this supposed to be like the, uh, there are five lights? What the heck is that? Well, I can hover, I gotta remember that. Uh, okay, hover does use the blue gauge still. Oh, god damn it, more freaking crawlers. I couldn't get high enough quick enough. I should have gone over here, that would have worked. Uh, let's see. Ow! Rude. Is this where I'm going? I think this is where I'm going. Um... Depending on how to interpret that map marker, this might be where I'm going. Still not getting used to having to hold up. I think this is the same uh, in interior music as in the first place, so that hasn't changed yet. Because, like, in the in the second game, didn't they change the interior music for each planet? So I thought they might do that again. Maybe they'll do it eventually, but not yet. Like, maybe... I don't know, are we technically... We're in the Sophia Metropolis, whereas before we were... Actually, where were we technically before? I mean, we were still in Sophia, so I guess that might be one. Oh, I s Yeah, okay. I, I noticed the reticle this I feel like they changed the look of the reticle completely. Yeah, well... Oh, th you can counter those guys when they're terrassing around, too. That's fine. I never even thought of that. I usually just avoid triggering them in the first place. Uh, is that a crack? Mm, apparently not. Not who I thought you were going to aim at, but okay. You're telling me I'm supposed to do that tightrope walk? Yeah, I'd rather not. Alright, well, I've got both of them. It's, it's a little surprising and maybe even alarming how free the counters are when you know what to look for in time. I'm surprised I got away from that one. Uh, okay. I gotta remember I can dash. Oh god, that was- wait, you dash when you counter also? That's confusing as hell. Yeah, you dash when you counter. Okay, I almost dashed right off a cliff, but alright. Doesn't look like Eve to me. Eve? No. Oh, well, that's not Eve. That's a mutant clone of her. You gotta be kidding me. I thought I got a response from Eve, but no, it was this damn mutant. Damn mutant, I'll sue. Well, that's uh, terrifying and unsettling. And we have to fight it. Evil Eve. Evil, 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 evil. Can I just leave? See what I did there? Keep your grubby hands off of me. Oh, jeez. There's more of you. Am I supposed to be able to avoid that? Oh, um, that's bad. Did 
Just keep shooting. I should have been shooting more. I've, I've gotten in the habit of not shooting. I don't know why she was still doing that from that far away. Also, wait, why is her meter full again? Hang on. on this way. Yep, dead. Okay, let's uh, try to figure out what I should actually be focusing on here, because that ain't it. Turns out things are still easier when you, uh, don't get hit. Oh, shit. Okay. Rushing attacker. We've had that before, right? After coming into contact with an enemy, it fires a point-blank shot before backing away a close range. Yeah, okay. That was some unsettling music there with that screen. Yeah, I did completely forget about the dash. What I didn't forget about was this guy. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm glad he didn't let us down for too long. <sighs> Jason Fudnick, guess you didn't kick the bucket yet. Fred, Fred is not is not enthused at all. Wh what is that Leibniz? How did you get into G, Sophia? Hang on, you're still alive? I copied your call keys. <laughs> Were you hoping I wasn't? That'd probably be better for you. You're still in one piece, alright. What happened to your MA, Garuda? The SF got their hands on it and scrapped it. As soon as I landed on Sophia, they totally swarmed me. Thankfully, I found a certain MA of yours and decided to hijack it. Okay, how about it? Ready for a fight to the, to the death? Nope. I have no reason to fight you. Dude, he's sitting in your backseat. He's probably eating your Doritos without your permission. You have a reason to fight him. I've heard that one before. You think I care about your reasons? I sure do. It's pretty obvious. Look, I know you called the other MA pilots for help to save Eve back then. And you went so far as to fight off the mutants attacking Earth. Okay, that did happen. I was wondering whether this was part of that plot line, or whether that was happening, and you know, later or at the same time or before or what. Oh, that! If I knew it would end up that way, I never would have gone. I heard the Earth was safe again now, but what really happened back there? They're they're making room for a a prequel sequel. Like I'm totally expecting them to make a game where we are Leibniz. No matter how things ended up, I still have no reason to fight you, Leibniz. You're so lame. I'll just sit back and watch you suffer, then. You've got loads of enemies already with the SF and mutants after you. I don't suppose you'll help me out in exchange for not fighting you? Not a chance. At the end of the day, I just want you dead, you know? Just be glad I'm not gonna say something super lame like, I shall be the one to break you. But that's exactly the kind of thing I want you to say because it works with the accent I gave you. Like, this is totally not in your character, these other things you're saying. I really couldn't care less who breaks you. I just want to be there to see the spectacle when it goes down. Yep, still the same old jerk he was before. This really is the perfect setup. I have a front row seat. You're in the back seat. I have a front row seat. There's even a radio back here, so if you get all lonely or whatever, feel free to call me from the subscreen. 
I'll make sure you regret your decision every time you call. I wish I could do a strong bad accent because that would work really well for this. <laughs> I want out of here, but I can't just leave without my MA. Eh, yeah, suit yourself. Oh, by the way, I already installed Garrett's Seb weapon on your MA, since I thought I could use it. Seriously? <laughs> okay, free homing laser. Did we have this before? We had a homing missile before, that also had a lock on, and a multi-lock, so it sounds similar to that. Whoa, it's right here, homing laser. The gate up ahead won't open unless you hit all six switches at once. Hold the so sub weapon button to lock onto multiple targets. You did read the explanation that popped up just now, right? Yeah, I got it. I can check it again on the sub menu info screen too. Don't come crying to me if you don't get it. Come on now, get on with it. I can't be breaking this fourth wall forever. He already dozed off, didn't he? Huh? A, a transmission? Jason? You here? Eve, are you okay? Where are you? My goodness, it's Jason. I don't have much time to talk. Signal is weak. Is something interfering with it? Listen. Carefully. Listen. I like how it just cuts off like sun. Are you winning, sub? Use... That's... ERV... I inst Something about a, a system she installed in his helmet. Because he did say she repaired his helmet. Helmet? The VRV system? Right, you've repaired my helmet. It's dangerous, but it only way to get past the dimension. Oh, something to do with the dimension. Dimensional what? I couldn't hear. What do you think, Jason? What are the crazy multicolored, I can't believe it's not LTTP color rando bullshit that we saw like 20 times already? Ruptures. Dimensional ruptures. I'm out of time. Eve? Eve! No, I lost the connection. Come on, she said ruptures. She said dimensional, she said ruptures. Put it together, man. Oh, man, I had a feeling someone was missing. This is shaping up to be more entertaining than I expected. Entertaining, huh? Okay, I've traced the signal. It was that other signal after all. Ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, let's track down that signal. Eve is there, I'm sure of it. It's that other signal that we conveniently didn't put on the map, even though there were two signals. Aren't we nice? Oh, sure of it, huh? Eh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Well, that's apparently where the other signal is. Gee, thanks. Uh, I have hover. I need to remember that. Oh god, that's a lot of bees. Wait, I have the homing missile. I'm, I'm an idiot. Hang on. Okay, that definitely works a little bit differently. I kind of like it, though. <coughs> I mean, it's pretty much funneling me three- wait, there was an item up there that I didn't get? Uh, why are there more beats? Get out of here. Why are they here every single time? On the bright side, they're giving me my health back. Oh. <laughs> so wait a minute, there's... A... I was wondering... When I saw that other icon, I was like, wait, is this the same one I saw before? It's the same icon, but is it in the same place? There's apparently, uh, multiple of these. Prevents the MA's life from dropping one time when taking damage. A disposable shield up to 16 can be held at once. What? like this is this temporarily increases my life energy so he has got it all this life energy guard even prevents the pilot's gun level from dropping okay that's what i was going to compare this to i should keep an eye out for these i'll need them when things get rough uh okay so there's interesting the hell is the game it looks like there's another gauge on top of my life meter First of all, I'm not entirely happy with how it fudged the rendering of the life meter itself, but obviously there's a guard around that now, which prior to this was only ever a thing on your gun meter in top-down mode. I Yeah, I was wondering, it made it sound consumable. What is the exclamation mark here?
What is the exclamation mark here? Um, let's try talking to him. We'll probably regret it. I just want to clear things up a bit. If you're expecting me to rush gallantly to your rescue when you're lying on the brink of death, or if you're imagining standing back to back fighting off mutants, you've got another thing coming. As if I'd waste the energy. Don't worry, I wasn't expecting anything of the sort. Well, hey, at the very least, I'll lift a single finger, then use it to point and laugh at you. You are seriously the worst. Okay, I have to... <laughs> I think they realize that people didn't use this menu enough, and they're giving me more reasons to use this menu just to put up with Leibniz's nonsense. It indicates something I haven't checked the description? That's why I went... Are there multiple pages to this? No? Oh, now it's gone. It doesn't go away when you read it, it goes away when you exit and re-enter the screen? Okay, that's the same info I already had. Um, it seems to put that there even when there's nothing new that you haven't already read. So, I think it's just- it seems like it's just reminding you that it's new since the last time you came to this screen. That's how I interpret it. Yeah, because these are the same. So it's it's like making it easier for you to find it again if you need to read it again, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'm still wondering exactly how consumable this consumable is. And does it show up anywhere? And can I, like, elect when to use it and, like, turn it off? Because I would love to just stack these things and only use them when... I feel it's necessary to use them, but I don't see it anywhere in here. What is this? Oh, that's Dive Brain. Oh. Let's get away from the bees. Okay, so yeah, now there's... Th it is... it's basically the, the top thing. What the heck is going on? I thought that was a wall. It's not a wall. Um, and I, I can't go in there. Is, oh, this is the six switches. This is what he's talking about. Okay. So I need to do that. It's, <laughs> I've already mentioned Metroid Prime 2. Here's another Metroid Prime 2 reference. Except those usually had five missiles, not six. Holy shit. It's like a miniature version of, uh, of that big mountain thing. Look, it's even a mountain now. Um, is this actually... Can I do anything with this? No. Why is my ship behind it? Like, what? <laughs> it's hiding. Yeah, I figured it was the pink bars. I was wondering if it was specifically in the menu somewhere so I could turn it off and save it for later, but I guess I can't. Um... Interesting billboard type thing? It's very jiggly, though. Still haven't learned to hold up. What on earth are you doing? Holy shit, dude. Whoa. Settle down, dude. Also, what is this? Oh. Okay. Um, well, guess what? Um, free refills, because you can just bounce on this infinitely. Uh, what on earth? Okay, well, at least it died easily. Oh, I'm still on the more powerful weapon. Do you think the lifeguards might resp- Oh, I wasn't- Yeah, I wasn't gonna assume that. Uh, that's not what I wanted to change. What I wanted to change was that. That was another case where- Yeah. Oh, that's got, like, an area of effect going on. I was in the middle of a thought, and then I forgot the thought. Circ SP-1000? What the- oh, jeez. Alright, at least there aren't spikes down here. Uh, so I can destroy the light ones. Oh, 
and eventually they just go away. Oh, okay, that also works. Uh, well, that almost worked. Yeah, so much for the, uh, the lifeguard. I can't just sit in one place. I need to... Jeez, that requires a lot of active thinking. Okay, so it saved my state exactly where it was with the two extra bits left. Actually, uh, being down here might be easier. Uh, yeah. He's kind of almost dead. He's... Nope, he's not dead. What the... So, bosses have like two layers of life gauge or something. Like, what, so, what is going on with this shit? Because like, the life gauge was going down and then it wasn't, right? I haven't been paying enough attention to it to see when it goes back up, but I swear it's going back up. Second map? It's like, yes, we got the map. What about second map? Eleven Z's, brunch, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. But I mean, of course, it is the second map we got, and what the heck? That's some funky stuff going on. It actually shows which doors go to which places. That's nice. That's new. And yeah, if they were gonna... There were only a couple of places where you had, like, door mazes... ...before, but they're clearly making that more of a thing. So, uh, yeah, that's good that they added that. There should be an idiot. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out too, because it, it feels like every time I check it, it's the same color, but I didn't know if it was changing color at some point. Uh, there was a uh, checkpoint right out here, right? I should probably use that again. Oh, there's another checkpoint here, too. Whoops, okay. Ooh, excuse me? You seem to be stealing my stuff. I would, I would like it. Oh god, there's more than one of them. Oh my god, just get up there, please. Thank you. I kinda wanna go this way first. Yeah, wow, you just can't regain anything here. Um... Fortunately... I still have enough for that. That is not this kind of door, that is this kind of door. So I'm probably supposed to go here after getting... Oh no, it's bees. Oh, it's not bees, it's spindly doodle. I'm guessing I was supposed to go here after taking care of that other dude. Wait, what? How does that work? thing was left over, okay. Did I take a hit there at the end? I think I might have. 
Uh, I also left stuff here though, so I should be fine. Is it still here? Oh, it's not still here. Damn. Pretty sure there was another gun level up. Power up sitting there before. Okay. Crack in space? It's the same as the one I saw in the SF base. This must be one of the dimensional ruptures that Kane and Eve mentioned. Alright, I guess it's time to check out the VRV system. Vision Reversal Visor System. A system to reverse superdimensional space. Activates when the helmet's visor is lowered. Okay. Oh dear. This is super dimensional space? I've been in super dimensional space once before, back on Earth when I was battling the mutants in Area Omega, but this time. The sheer force is so intense, I won't be able to survive like this. Gah, Excel Charger! What? What? By allocating the Excel Charger's resources to life support, I can finally move around. The Excel Charger was designed to boost my physical capabilities beyond the limitations of my suit. But in this harsh environment, it's running full tilt just to make sure I stay alive. Oh god, they really did do frickin' LTTP color randomizer on this shit. It can only stay active for so long, so if it runs out here, I'm toast. And the Metroid Prime 2 Echoes references continue. That's literally what this is. Except with more eye bleeding. I don't have time to think about that, though. I need to get moving and get through the space as quickly as I can. And there's no power-ups here. Okay. Well, well, okay. I can't counter, either. Can do that. Wait. Is this mapped? This is not mapped. Okay, but there's more stuff over here? What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. I don't know why I fell there. Uh, okay. There's apparently nothing there. So I guess we'll just go then. Also, I could not tell what resource was being consumed, if any, while I was in that space. Because they made it sound like you basically have a time limit. But I didn't notice what it was. If there was one. Uh... Nope, 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 nope. Let's get up there and get our stuff back. You have to wait for it to finish its animation before you can summon Sophia. What is that? I don't know, that doesn't do anything. I'm assuming I need something I don't have yet. Yeah, that's one of the symbols is there. You do have a time limit, but it doesn't consume any research. Wait, is it indicated somewhere? Was I totally not paying attention in the right spot? Because I was assuming it was tied to a resource, a la Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Alright, do I want to go down there yet, or do I want to see what's up here? You'll be able to tell when your time is running out. Okay, great. It's like, thanks, I'm about to die. Is this just, like, the other side of where I was before? Yeah, it is. Okay. Something about this area feels slightly like 90s DOS side-scrolling platformer to me. Maybe it's the Metropolis setting, and I'm thinking of stuff like, um... Oh, what the hell is the name of that game? Biomenace. Oh, whoops. I need to... Ugh. Switch to that. Oh, come on! 
Get out of here. Also, it took me this long to realize that those other crates actually have the, th the three missile logo on them. So I feel sufficiently silly. I'm assuming I shouldn't go to the left. I see. There's a rupture here too, and the path up ahead is gone? I get it, each signal was coming from an area past here. <laughs> Now things are heating up. We've got a dimensional disappearance. Dimensional disappearance? So space itself was sucked into the rupture? Is that what you're saying? Hang on a sec. Why do you think I'm just gonna answer your question? <sighs> the VRV system should still work here. The path really did disappear. And it's making me going. Yeah, they had three. Mi they had a logo. They had an icon of three missiles on them. The uh, the darker crates. Space and super dimensional space reversed. If the path's reconnected, we should be able to keep going. As long as I'm in G Sophia, I don't need the Excel charge when I'm in super dimensional space. Gotta be careful if I get out, though. Even time itself seems partially reversed in here. Energy vectors, too. I don't really understand it beyond a surface level, the, but I should expect things to work differently in this space. Ha ha ha! Hey, Jason, check that out! Is that a dimensional distortion? Those are really dangerous. Oh, they're back! And here I thought they'd replace them with something more reasonable. Nope, they're still here. Is it really dangerous? Yeah, you should dive in. It'll be fun. Knock it off. I haven't grazed that I'm done for. Well, duh, that's why I said it. Why not give it a try anyway? I encountered these dimensional distortions back on Planet Devito. If, if dimensional ruptures are cracks in space, these distortions are chasms. Even G-Sophia's armor can't handle making contact with them. They haven't split the planet like they did on DeVito, but still. Things look pretty dangerous here in Super Dimensional Space. Gotta make sure I don't touch... I accidentally skipped the message. But yeah, we don't wanna... Oh, we got, uh, oh, Ice Dude. Oh, he's already dead. Wait, what? Okay, so that doesn't bounce anymore, but it sure did something. Oh, what the fuck? Are they just forming up when I get close? Because that's very, very nerve-wracking. Oh, dear. I don't like this at all. Oh. I see. Um... The question is, which way should I be going now? Probably not that way. I mean, I could try it. We did just checkpoint, but I think that's a bad idea. Uh, this also seems like a bad idea. Oh, okay. They're giving me one of those now? Okay. Also, that had a... Did, did the other one have the same beta letter after it, or was it different? Okay, well, that's stressful. The hell is this? A pile of junk. Also, why is that guy super big? Oh, did... What the heck? Oh! Um, uh, that looks like a lot of them. Oh god, there's two big ones. Alright, well that helps. Holy shit, you gotta be kidding me. What am I- am I really supposed to just fucking- no? No? Maybe? I can't target them. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Is this supposed to be a- no, it doesn't say it's a- Well, I'm gonna die. What else can I try doing here? Oh, I can just die immediately, I guess. 
Okay, well, we gotta figure out that one. That seems like a jerk move. Uh... Could the other guy show up, too? That'd be great. Oh, well, I guess that works. I know there's another one. Alright, I have another idea. If this ends up killing me again. And I think we'll I think we'll try the other idea. I can't even get out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's try the other idea. What? Come on, he bonked into me, dude. That's, that's not, that's not fair. Oh, I can get across. I'm gonna die anyway, but ha! Huh, screw you. What do you mean, what did the map say? It said nothing. It's just... Well, there was, there was a arrow through two sections ago, actually. Am I really not supposed to be here? I just- I was looking at the, uh, I was already one unit in when I looked at that, so, uh, oops. So I was looking at the one just to the left of this, not the one to the left of that. Well, one way or another I made it. Wait, I can fast travel, right? It hasn't told me how to fast travel yet. Am I gonna be screwed if I do this? Or can I actually fast travel already? I, I'm, I'm here, but I'm almost dead. Also, this is one of the places I don't want to go yet, isn't it? Pretty sure this is one of the places I don't want to go. Oh, well, now I'm here anyway, though. Because now I'm checkpointed here. I'm assuming I'm gonna die here. What the heck is that thing? Shouldn't have done that. Ow. Well. Guess I'm going this way. Somehow this feels like some crystalless level nonsense going on. Oh, this is a really, really, really bad idea. What? I just switched weapons, dude. Why can't I switch weapons? I, I seriously can't switch weapons. Oh, great. That's what I want to see here, yeah. I am doing- I am getting myself in all sorts of trouble right now. Oh. Health? Not worth it. Oh, good grief. Oh! <laughs> yep, alright. Deserved. Alright. I should not be here anyway. I'm surprised I got that far. Okay, yes, you can. So, I wasn't supposed to be here at all, but... I mean... It let me out here. This is where it told me to go. Like, where else would it want me to go? That seems really weird that it would specifically lead me through here. Directly to a place that the map says I shouldn't go through yet. Hang on a second, why is there a big circle here? Wait a minute. Oh, uh, that's just where I currently- Okay, so wait a minute. When I'm on this screen... It's got the, the arrow with the line through it. When I'm on this screen... Oh, it is there. It's just kind of covered up by the, the other thing, which might be why I didn't notice it. Um... 
Okay, I am very confused, though. Uh, let's talk to this moron again. Hey, Lameness, what happened back on Earth? I saved the planet from the mutants. What else are you expecting? Well, you were saying that you never should have gone, so... I was wondering if something bad went down there. Who knows? Maybe I just wanted to rile you up a bit. It's so easy to do. I guess I could talk about it, but when the audience is just you... Rip it. Yeah, you too. Still, I don't feel like it. Who knows? I may feel up to it one day, but don't get your hopes up. I really feel like the, um... The Brit accent is not holding up well with Leibniz now. In the previous game, it worked. In this game... Not so much. Um... Well, where else can I go? Possibly something down there, but that's another one of those SF things that... the game really wants me to think I can't do yet. Oh, wait, but there's another thing of... Mm, wait. Wrong button. There's an area gate up there, but again, I'm not supposed to go there yet, supposedly. Alright, wait, where does... We can go up to the top left. How have I not been there yet? That's confusing. Somehow I haven't been there yet. We can do that. Uh, before we do that, I'm gonna take a break, though. I'll leave it with this music. That works. And we will continue in a couple minutes. Alright, you know what occurs to me? This game is already on track to potentially having the strongest soundtrack out of the three games, and we're only in, like, the first, well, second area, I guess. So, that's a pretty good sign. Um... Let me start the timer back up. Oh, also, actually, let me plug... My laptop is not plugged in, and I should fix that. Okay. Alright, we'll start it back up. And, uh... It just seems really weird that they would direct me here. And I can't actually do anything here yet. Um... Let's go back here. Just keeps respawning enemies. Um... They're endless here too. Wait, didn't I... I was there already. Wait a minute. Why am I acting like I haven't been there? I have been there. There's nothing else there. The only other thing I can possibly figure is there's another... ...checkpoint below this. It is nice that they highlight them. Wait, what? Why can I warp there? Also... Is that because I kludged my way through that room already? There was actually a checkpoint or something in here, wasn't there? Yeah, okay. That That's why I can warp there, because I already went there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this stuff is explored, even though it said I couldn't go there. Um, it also says I can't go there. What was here? Ah, oh, that was the, uh, the battery-looking thing. Alright, what about what's down here? I never did go down here. Because this is where these things are, are stealing my energy. And then I probably shouldn't go in there. Oh shit, that guy. Yeah. There's still another one? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, there's still another one. Wait. I'm pretty sure this is the one I shot the first time, I just need to shoot it again, so yeah, they don't- 
They're just like any other enemy, they don't stay dead. Okay, now I'm getting my energy back. This was where I went the first time. The question is, did they intend to- wow, that's a big jump. Okay, those things also come back. I'm hearing a noise over here. I can't see it, but I'm hearing it. Rude? Oh, what the- you've got to be kidding me. Okay, well that's a- oh, this is also a fake wall. Alright. And he doesn't give a crap about the fake wall either. Alright. And this is yet another one of these. This is a very odd style of blockade to have. But I'm pretty sure I already, like, I already had a suspicion on how to get through that. It really doesn't, like... It even specifies a direction, because, like, there's another one over there where it says you can't go up. But these say you can't go right. Except I totally can. What am I missing, though? I can't get to the thing to the right of the red square over there. That would lead me somewhere new. What else? What am I not seeing that I'm supposed to be able to do? Unless... wait. Also, what is the deal with the area gate? I mean... I don't think I'm supposed to be able to go into it yet anyway, but... Alright, so I'm gonna test the theory that I had before. Now nope, they do start shooting. I was thinking they started shooting specifically because... Uh, specifically because I came into contact with one of those guys. But no, they start shooting anyway. So, yeah, I got through that by sheer dumb luck the other time. Um... So if I go here, that's where we started. I don't really know what the meaning of area gate is when... Well, maybe it's just because I can't leave now. Maybe eventually it is how you'll leave. I guess I can look around the rest of this screen. I like how he's skittish, but not for very long. To actually amount to anything. Yeah, so see, there's totally three missiles in an icon on that. Oh, God damn it! Get out of here. So that's a different icon, but it looks kind of like the the guard icon that we had before. Oh, why are you back? God damn it. Should have figured... Oh, wow, that time it didn't waste any time coming back. I have no idea how you would go about getting in there. Where the heck did that materialize from? Excuse me? From that dude? Rude. None of that is false wall, as far as I can tell. Oh, we're crying out loud.
one's actually good at the dodges. I am surprised that... Oh, well, it did work, and then it didn't work. Alright, so hang on, though. Oh, good grief. Yeah, they're getting real sneaky in this. I can't get this one off. That was the first one I was in. Yeah. So, yeah, this has been pretty damn pointless. Alright, so what else can I do? Besides the things that I supposedly can't do. I mean, well, unless I'm supposed to go into one of the SF sections, which I... the game told me I shouldn't be doing. Wait a second. Wait a second. There were two exits. There were two routes here. That's what the map is trying to tell me there. It's really easy to miss. But, like... It's trying to tell me that the whole distortion... ...occupies that... ...that six square section. Three, three tall, two wide. There's two ways out of it. I found the bottom way out, but there might be another way out, and that's how I get to where I'm supposed to be getting. And that's what I haven't been realizing. Because, like... I mean... Look at how easy it is to ignore it. it. Yes, it's blinking, but it's kind of dark and it feels like background. So, like, it doesn't, like, yes, it's actually moving with the map. Yes, it is actually part of the map and not just background. That's what I was missing. So, I, I, I feel like with how in-your-face the visuals in this section otherwise are, it seems kind of weird that they decided to be, like, in extremely low key on the map. So we gotta do with this terrifying nonsense again. At least there's uh, checkpoints on either side, I suppose. Um, so now, which way? I need to be going up. Wasn't up exactly where I thought I couldn't go, though? Up is exactly where I thought I couldn't go. Oh, what? That acts as a ceiling. Okay. Um, surprise. That stuff's there. Uh, alright, we're gonna wait for that to recharge, which, uh, glad I landed up here before that happened. That's very blinky. Alright, we're, we're good. Oh, well, I probably could've just launched him into, into the ceiling instead, but... Oh, good god. I really don't like this. That was weird. I think it was because I was still in the air hold- I was desperately holding left bumper and right bumper for dear life. And I think because I hadn't landed yet, it actually opened the weapon submenu instead. Okay, we did it. That is some really questionable game design. Having platforms that are, like, totally not visible, and you basically have to just wing it and hope it works. Like... Did they hire the staff that designed Jim Power for this game for that section? Because that's not what I would consider good. Oh, he was gonna go that way. I thought I faked him out sufficiently, but I hadn't.
Alright, this is gonna break under me, right? This is what's supposed to introduce the breaking glass. But instead I got a crash course in it by, uh, going to that other area that I totally shouldn't have been in. It's gonna be interesting to see just how long- I mean, the, I, I figure they can't keep you out of those areas for particularly long because there isn't gonna be anywhere else to go. Okay, this may have been a terrible idea. Alright, that works. I don't want to try taking that tightrope. Is there any reason to take this one? No. Why is there a checkpoint? Because there's a boss here. The boss is actually in negative space. Oh, we have to go through negative space to get to the boss, and then the item is actually across from that wall, so there might be a shortcut back out. Uh, I'm pretty much good to go. somewhere. Why did I switch weapons? Uh, that's also not where I want to be going. Can I go left somewhere? That'd be great. There we go. Oh, this, this they're weak against, okay. Okay, so I can still counter. I feel like I countered before I even should have, but okay. Right, that works. Take that, hopefully, before. Uh, how much do we have left? One more room? I don't know how I'm doing on time here. Oh, okay, it's right here anyway. Hi, this- why does this look vaguely familiar? Feels slightly like one of the other bosses in one of the other areas. A boss mutant? Even bosses have started to show up? Your signal is passed here and this thing's not gonna stop me. The Terrible Reverser. Cool Kirkle. Oh, there are multiple boss meters. I'm an idiot. There's one right behind the other and each one has its own color. Uh, I just thought of something. Each weapon has its own cooldown. Ow. Ow. Okay, yeah, it's weak to that. I need to remember I can dash. That is not the dash button. Okay, I think I killed it. I like how even the boss meter is messed up. Uh, I don't actually want to go through that yet, though, right? I want to go through... Wait, do I have to go through here? I guess I have to go through here. Huh? 
What am I looking at? Okay. Uh, apparently we're not done with the boss yet. Also, apparently I shouldn't go up. Also, I'm gonna run out of, uh... Alright, fortunately it's almost done. Okay. Use all your resources, both kinds of weaponry. Interesting. I don't know that we had a boss that, like, carried over from top down to side. Multi... leg? Multiple legs that reduce the effects of certain geography. Hold down while on the ground to turn on and off. Has a camouflage effect on certain mutants. Okay. There you go. The most important question, though, is can we scratch our behind with our hind leg? Did that thing create a dimensional rupture? Well, a mutant that created dimensional distortions before, but this is my first time seeing one use super dimensional space to move. Is that just this boss mutant's special ability? Or did these revived mutants evolve and gain the ability to create ruptures for some reason? Maybe it's just my imagination, but it's as if they're trying to keep me away from here. In any case, I should be wary of rupture creating mutants from now on. Well, that's not Eve. We found Eve's DNA! A mysterious sample of DNA that gives off Eve's signal. However, since Eve is a gynoid... Gynoid? Gynoid? I'm going with gynoid. No such thing should exist. What? Eve isn't here either. Or maybe she just isn't here anymore. But hey, I'm not leaving here empty-handed. Let's see. This is Eve's DNA? No way, a gynoid like her has DNA? Support droids are man-made. Those dolls may look human, but let me assure you, they aren't even close. Even as I told you when we first met not to treat Eve like an object. Hey, I'm just saying that there's something really awful about the idea that, there's a, that a support droid has DNA. Even if they're tools or dolls or whatever, I'm not saying they don't have the hearts or souls as you like to go on about. We don't have all the answers yet. We need to contact Kane somehow. Kane Gardner. I've heard of him. He's not the type you just call up. Let me handle that. We just need to get to a communications facility. There might be one we can reach with the new maneuver I just picked up. That's right, we don't need shortcuts. We got Fred. Oh god, do I have to go back through here again? I guess I do. But... Now those blockades are, are gone. Oh, so interesting. <clears throat> On the one hand, there's the green box with the arrow down there. On the other hand, there were two red boxes with arrows, uh, with lines through them before. And the other one is just gone. Maybe it's because I've already explored it? I don't know, Zaki, if you remember whether there were two green boxes. When you did this, if you didn't go through the place as unintended first. Also, hey, Steve Maniac. Uh, it has stopped reminding me the buttons to push. Oh, uh, wait, how do I use leg? I can't believe this is an ability. Hold, hold down. Okay, so I can move like this. I don't know that I want to move like this. Wait. Oh, you just hold down to toggle it. Okay. Um, gee, thanks for running out right there. I'm just gonna get him out of the way. It does make your, uh... It, may it feels like it makes my movement different. Yeah, because you actually stop on a dime, which... Could be nice, actually. I could do without the Medusas. It would be great if there was a shortcut here, but there isn't. Alright, I know we're fine here. Do they actually like me now? 
Are they gonna help me? That would be cool. Also, they totally weren't. No, they were here before. Sorry, I just killed your friends. Um... I could go this way. I forget. Is there... Yes, there are platforms here. That did come back. So there's there's the answer to your the thing you were thinking before that you remembered them coming back. They do. I wonder if I can technically Yeah, oh I mean I was already going in that direction anyway, so figured let's just do it. Yeah. Are you freaking kidding me with this shit? <laughs> it's literally all sunshine and roses right now. This is the most ridiculous crap I've ever seen in a video game. Alright, well, thanks everybody. I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether I'm technically power sliding off the wall now or what. Yeah, I'm like clinging to the wall and it's scraping down. Wait, what just happened? Oh, that just happened. Um... I was expecting to, you know, land and use the Gaia system and destroy that thing, but if you want a cutscene to just completely dematerialize it, I guess that's okay too. Like... <laughs> An SF communication space. If I can access their equipment, I should be able to contact Kane. Wait, now we're gonna go in there? What happened to that being a bad idea before? Oh, God damn it! it didn't dematerialize it. Um... I have many questions about this, because before it was saying, don't go into those, and now it's saying, I should go in here. Like, really? I wonder, and, and the thing is, the map marker was always pointing here, not to the other one. So like, should I actually go to the other one first, or... I'm kind of inclined to try the other one first, just in case it gives me something important. Given how, uh... How heavily they're, they're highlighting it in green and everything. Come on, get over there. Okay, I can crash down and, and still get, uh, resources back there now, so that's good. This seems like a boss arena. Um, this is a boss arena. Hello, you were a top-down boss last time? You, you... They're calling it the albino, or albino, uh... thingamajig. I would call it the white cheddar version. Oh, well, that's good. Wait, that didn't kill me? Oh, did it use the blocker? Oh, this is terrifying. Um, yeah, this is gonna absolutely one-shot me at some point. Oh, or it could do that. And I can't do anything about it, so that's cool. Somehow I think I'm not supposed to be here yet. Oh, come on, I can't even hit it! Oh, yeah. I think the, the block- the guard actually blocked a hit on that. Um... Yeah, that seems like... Yeah, I guess I can try those. This just seems very unlikely to be survivable right now. Dig roller. Right, that's, that's the thing.
Oh, or I can just chew through uh, an entire meter and a half of that. Oh, now you're on the bottom. Okay, and I can't hit you from here. Oh, did that stun it? Okay. Also, that was a very Star Tropic sound effect it made. Alright. Wait. How does that re Oh, is there like a tiny-ass little white bar? Is that supposed to be it? Yeah, that's supposed to be it. Good luck even telling that that exists. That is the most low-contrast second life bar I've ever seen. Yeah, that visibility is horrible. They, they really did uh, throw all caution to the wind with this one. Between the... Uh, the dimensional, you know, the negative dimension or whatever areas and... Alright, well that's not going to help me in particular for this, so I guess we're doing this anyway. I wonder if they'll say anything more about it in here. SF facilities are guarded by combat drones that attack any intruders. It's too dangerous to just charge in. Is there some way to go around? Huh. Okay. Like that? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I went halfway through the damn place last time anyway. Although, we're here for the item, right? I think the idea is I go through here and it's supposed to be less dangerous. Same exact way I went last time. I think I did go the long way last time, though. That was weird, because it didn't show the counter and then it did. Okay, it's another one of these. <clears throat> okay. So this is also disposable- wait. It's disposable and it's like over both of them. But it's disposable this time, so... So yeah, they've done a lot of balance tweaks in this, because... You now have separate gun types, so you always have the different types available, regardless of level. But you still don't want to be low level, because it sucks. On top of that, they have changed the guard so that it's not a permanent thing that always comes back over, like, a few seconds. It's actually something you can exhaust. Therefore, it makes, it makes for a much more... Uh, constant threat, because in, in the other games, other than in certain situations where you were likely to take a lot of damage at once, like, consecutively, you weren't ever really in much of a threat. Also, I guess the thing on the right-hand side is key items in general, not just keys, because Eve's DNA is there. Some wait. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, it's like, wait, there's another room that wasn't explored yet. And that's what's got the terminal. Kane! Kate Garner, please come in. Jason. Where in the world are you? Where in the world are you calling me from? I'm hacking an SF communications facility in the Dome City. I disguised the signal, so we should be safer now. 
Oh, look at you, acting like a proper terrorist now. Aren't you Garuda's pilot? What are you doing in G-Sophia? USF goons blew poor Garuda to pieces. Now I have to associate with this shady old terrorist here. Seriously, you know I'm supposed to be hunting you two down, right? Sorry, but I have something I need to ask you about. When I was tracking Eve's signal, I found some of Eve's DNA. Eve's DNA? What do you mean? She's a gynoid. She, she has no DNA. Since you were involved in the development of the MAs and support droids, I thought you might know something. I was only involved in the planning... In planning the MA frames and field tests. Sorry to tell you this, but support droids aren't my area of expertise. I see. But if there's anyone who can help you, it would be her. Her? Jennifer Gardner. He's at the Science Academy on the satellite Nora. Oh, there's the name Nora again. Jennifer. Her name was with yours when Sophia Zero was sent to Earth. She's my wife, and was part of both the MA and support droid projects. Give her that DNA to analyze. She may be able to discern its origin. So we need to get to the satellite Nora. Looks like we'll have to ship out from this planet then. Yesef will shoot you down in an instant if you lose if you use the landing point. There's a mass driver nearby that's used to launch supplies to Nora. If you launch G Sophia from there disguised as freight, the SF should ignore you, but the mass driver isn't designed to launch passengers, so prepare yourselves for a dangerous ride. I'm in no position to be picky, I'll head to the mass driver. I need an access key to enter that area. Use this. I don't even give us an access key. Unauthor and it's an unauthorized access key, a key created by illicit means that allows access to the mass driver facility in the third area. That should let you open the security gate in the area. However, you'll need a tag to disguise G-Sophia as freight. Disguise tag, huh? Got it, I'll keep an eye out. Also, Jason, that system you used to enter the ruptures. VOV wasn't... Right, the system Eve left for me. It activates when I lower my visor. It's just a hunch, but you shouldn't overuse it. Even if Eve did make it. Perhaps the problem isn't the system, but... In any case, don't abuse it. Huh? Sure, I'll be careful. Thanks for being as cryptic as possible. By the way, Kane, I have one more thing I need to ask you. What is it? Let's say hypothetically... If Eve really was responsible for reviving the mutants on Sophia, what would you do? Did you find something? No. I see. If your question is purely hypothetical, then my duty is to protect the planet Sophia. I cannot show mercy to those who threaten it. I believe in you, Jason. Understood, sir. Get that disguise tag from the mass driver facility, then start making your way to Nora. It should be right on the other side of the area gate. Okay, are we talking the area gate that's right here, or something else? No, we're talking about the one that's right here. There's still other stuff to do on this planet, but I guess I can't do it yet. Yeah, because I still can't do the other thing that's right there. Kind of wish more Metroidvanias had some way of representing... Uh, required backtracking points. That is a neat idea that they have. Uh, so wait. Oh, I was gonna say, how are we actually leaving? But we can't leave yet, right? Don't we need the tag? Wait. Where the hell am I? Oh. So this is the mass driver facility. We launched you, Sophia, to Nora as is. That's the air defense which shoot us down. We need the special tag that Kane mentioned to disguise it as free. Gotta find that disguise tag somewhere. Hey, hey. Look at you, living your best fugitive life. We have bigger problems. The mutants got here before us. There are even some blackouts, too. I bet all that polluted water was there doing as well. Looks like it'll damage G-Sophia, too, so we better stay out of that stuff. We barely have any supplies and gear as it is, so G-Sophia giving out now would really put us in a rough spot. Ugh, how can you stand driving a vehicle with tires? Maybe you think that since you're always flying around in Garuda, but vehicles usually have tires, you know? Wait a sec. With that much water, it's best if I don't use tires either. I was gonna say, can we crawl around like that dude over there who's just chilling out and is totally fine? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm curious about something, though. I see. There's tabs up there. I didn't realize that. 
Uh, oh, so does that mean we can actually go back to the Sophia Force Base now? Because it's saying we can do something there that we couldn't before, either. Which is interesting. Also, it's showing there's distortions and stuff. So, that's all very interesting. We might want to check that out at some point, but I guess for now we can stay here. Um, that being said, I think I'm actually going to call it here for the night. But, uh, things are already opening up. And, uh, they've already thrown a lot of ways to mix things up at us, so this is going to be interesting. There's definitely one or two things that, uh, I'm not entirely sold on. Um, of course, I'm very displeased at the return of the dimensional rifts that will one-shot kill you. I'm hoping those are not used particularly often, but I'm kind of guessing they're going to be used pretty much any time we have a side-scrolling area in the uh, negative space or whatever. Uh, this music is also good. Seriously, I think I'm already calling, calling it that this has the best soundtrack of the three games. Because we've already heard several hot jams, and we've only been playing this game for, like, two hours. Um, I should look up the credits for these and see whether they all have the same composer or not, because they've definitely had, like, different ranges of, of sound in terms of the musical score. Um, and this one feels like it is the most clear-cut going for sounding like Famicom.